are having a good, wonderful, blessed day, and hopefully y'all can hear me. I mean, I just woke up, and I'm in the restroom talking while making this video. I got to straighten my hair again today, so I don't know, I might go ahead and do that and get that out the way, but yeah, early. But yeah, I came on here real quick because something bothered me from yesterday. Oh, excuse me. And I didn't want to, like, make the video yesterday. I didn't even know if I should or shouldn't or wanted to or not. Or what to say or how to say it. But now this time I thought about it. I'm just going to go over here and say it hell. You know, when you've been in, like, bad relationships and it's to the point where you done been in relationships, you done been abused, you done been in relationships where people use you for what you got, or use you for money, or you take advantage of you all the time, take you for granted and shit like that, or you've been in a relationship with, you've been in relationships where the guy didn't even really want you, he just, or the girl didn't really want you, they just wanted you for sex, to be honest with you, and it's all being honest, they want you for sex, for money, to have a roof over their head, to have transportation to use your vehicle all the time basically that's what they mean or just to get taken care of or just for non-materialistic things or just for me I mean I can't I'm not I can't speak for the next person and I'm not saying that in a way I am but in a way I'm not saying that all guys are like this but every guy that I've met have so far turned out like that except for one and that guy let's just be honest the way I feel about him if I if he wanted to get back together I'll be like okay let's do it hell I'll be like hell yeah because that was the one guy that didn't want anything or just one thing from me that's one guy that didn't take me for granted that's one guy that I can trust this one guy that I didn't have to think twice about okay when he said he going to work is he going somewhere else or when he said he going to work and he take too long to get back home I didn't have to think about that he didn't give me no reason to think like that he didn't give me a reason not to trust him he didn't give me a reason to have to argue with him all the time he didn't give me a reason to have to feel negative about anything or especially about our relationship so I mean that's the one guy that was like all about me that's the one guy that was like treated me better than every other guy I've been with prior to him and after him That's the one guy that's like, that was like, you know, you don't have to be, have your walls so high up. You don't have to have trust issues. You don't have to be so defensive. You don't have to be so argumentative. You could just talk to me. The only one thing I didn't really like was that he did was when we would talk. Or when I wanted to talk to him about something or when something he did that bothered me was when I would try to talk to him, he wasn't like, to me it felt like he wasn't listening or paying attention because if he was like watching TV or something, his eyes would just be into the TV. But to think about it, well, thinking back about it, he actually was listening, he just wouldn't basically have eye contact, but that wasn't all the time. That was just like one time during the game. Other than that, like a football game, but other than that, everything was cool. Everything was really good. But now, all these guys since then, and all the guys before then, they all wanted either wanted one thing, or they all was out for basically what they can get from me, or what I can do for them. Especially the ones that were locked up. It's all they ever wanted. And I'm like, I don't, mm, I'd rather, and it's kind of like, I'm the type of person that's like, 
I hold myself back waiting on something that that guy know he either don't want or he is not going to give me or he can't give me. And I'm sitting there just waiting and waiting and waiting and I never get it. I put myself, basically I put myself second behind them or behind other people trying to wait to see what's going to happen. If He's going to be different than the last guy and when he end up either turning out worse than the last guy or just like him. So yeah, I'm going to end this right here. I'll probably have to make part two sometime today. Other than that, I don't know. I'm going to end it right here. Bye guys.